Ever dreamed of floating effortlessly on water? Reading a book without a single care? Well, there's a place on Earth where that's not just a dream, it's reality. But this place is also one of the strangest and most extreme environments on our planet. We're talking about the one and only Dead Sea. So what's the deal with the Dead Sea? First off, let's get one thing straight. It's not a sea at all. It's actually a massive salt lake, sandwiched between Jordan to the east and Israel and the West Bank to the west. And when I say salt, I mean salt. The Dead Sea is nearly 10 times saltier than the ocean. We're talking a salinity of about 34%. To put that in perspective, most oceans hover around 3.5%. This insane saltiness is precisely why you can float. The high concentration of dissolved minerals makes the water incredibly dense, much denser than the human body. So when you get in, you don't sink, you just bob around on the surface like a cork. It's an absolutely bizarre and unforgettable feeling. But a word of warning, don't get that water in your eyes or even worse, swallow it. Trust me, it's an experience you do not want. And if you have any little cuts or scrapes, you will discover them instantly. But why is it so salty? Well, the Dead Sea sits at the lowest point on Earth's land surface, over 430 meters or 1,400 feet below sea level. Rivers, mainly the Jordan River, flow into it, carrying minerals and salts from the surrounding land. But here's the catch, no rivers flow out. The only way water leaves is through evaporation. And because it's in a scorching hot desert, a lot of water evaporates, leaving all those salts and minerals behind. Over thousands of years, this process has turned the lake into the hypersaline brew it is today. This extreme environment is also why it's called the Dead Sea. The water is so salty that no fish, plants, or any visible life forms can survive in it. It's a completely sterile environment, almost. Scientists have found some microscopic life, like certain types of bacteria and fungi, that have adapted to this harsh world. So it's not completely dead, just mostly. But here's a sad twist to the story. The Dead Sea is disappearing. In the last few decades, its water level has been dropping at an alarming rate, more than a meter every year. The rivers that once fed it are being diverted for drinking water and agriculture, so less and less water is making it to the lake. The once massive lake has shrunk by about a third. As it recedes, it's leaving behind wild, alien-looking salt formations and dangerous sinkholes along its shores. So the Dead Sea is more than just a quirky tourist spot. It's a unique natural wonder a geological marvel with a rich history and, sadly, a powerful symbol of the environmental challenges we face. It's a place that teaches us about buoyancy, geology, and the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. So if you ever get the chance to float in its legendary waters, take it. It might be a very different place in the years to come.